W-I-B-T-A, if I refuse to buy a painting my sister-in-law made for my family, not the a-hole. My daughter and I love reading these together. Now it's my turn to ask for judgment. I'm 52F and this situation concerns my husband's brother, Drew, 59M, and his wife of 5 years, Suzanne, 35F. Drew supports Suzanne on his income while she focuses on her dream of being an artist. She makes paintings of people and animals, and has a website where she advertises her work for sale. Privately, I don't think her art is very good. It's absolutely better than what I could do, but it doesn't look professional, if you know what I mean. My husband feels the same, so we have not opted to purchase any of her art, despite her dropping hints here and there about it. The art on her site is priced in the three dollars to $5,000 range. I realize that labor and the cost of materials must be taken into account, but given the quality, those prices seem outrageous to me. I suspect she's not making regular sales because she started making portraits of friends, family, or pets, as a surprise, and usually, said family and friends end up feeling obligated to buy the painting as a courtesy. Unfortunately, my husband and I were the latest targets of this sales tactic. My son recently proposed to his girlfriend, and we took the two of them, his girlfriend's parents, and our daughter out to a fancy dinner to celebrate. Both my kids posted pictures from dinner on social media. Without telling anyone, Suzanne decided to make a painting of one of these pictures, of everyone smiling for the camera. She revealed the big a surprise at a party she and Drew hosted two weeks ago. The painting is a whopping 40 by 58 inch, and I honestly think it's awful, kitsch and unattractive. I told Suzanne it was sweet of her to commemorate such a special moment in our family, but I carefully avoided saying anything about liking it. As I feared, she kept dropping hints throughout the party about how we can buy it as a wedding gift, and she would be happy to give us a big discount off what she would charge someone else. Who else would buy it. I politely dodged these hints, and she was clearly disappointed. Over the weekend, Drew reached out to my husband to say that Suzanne feels hurt that we never made an offer. He said it's becoming obvious as the years go by that we've never purchased one of her pieces, even though we have the means to do so, and it would mean a lot to them if we buy the painting. Her original asking price was $2.5,000, and Drew said he'll reduce it further to $1,900. It's not about the money, not entirely. It's the principle of the thing. I feel like I'm being pressured into paying for something I never asked for, don't like, and don't have space for in my house. I asked, and my son and his fiancé don't want it. My husband thinks we should just buy it to keep the peace in the family and avoid a potential rift with Suzanne and Drew. He also says the way I talk makes me sound like a snob, even though I would never share these opinions with anyone I know but him. Whipta if I stand my ground and refuse?